Hey, how's it going, friends and fellow developers here at Tutorial CU? My name is Yannick, and today I have a very special insight for you. Over the last few days, I had tons of one on one mentorship sessions with my students, and there was this one question that came up over and over again, and I really wanted to create a video now from that because it's really crucial that everyone who is interested in coding and landing a developer job knows about that. So, the struggle is real when the key question is how to land a developer job, right? I know there are so many people out there here in our audience which are learning to code, right? Digging deeper into ASP.NET Core, Kotlin, c -sharp, and so many more things. I mean, we even got courses on Python and machine learning. But what exactly do you have to do to land a developer job? And I'm teaching that to my students basically every day. So I thought it would be worth creating a video just on that topic. If you fit into that audience, if you're in the same position, make sure to watch the video until the very end, obviously. So the first part and that's really very important is that you have to stop focusing on too many things. Just focus on one thing, stop learning too many languages and frameworks at once, right? This is not just uh, something related to a single week, it's related to your entire journey. So my first advice is just forget about anything else, right? You have your starting point, you have one thing, but you know, what happens if you think that Kotlin or .NET, so c -sharp for example, is the correct way to start with, but now pay attention, it's not. Chances are quite high that Kotlin or c -sharp, for example, or even Python are not the best coding languages to start with if you want to land a developer job. And here's why. And I, I, as I said, I'm praying that inside of my mentorship sessions. Now think of it from a company side of view chances are that you are a developer beginner, you're a junior developer, right? Now, Python and Java and uh, c -sharp, for example, all of them are pretty closely related to the core business logic of the applications of that company. Let's say you want to work in um, web development, which is what I highly recommend, right? You have front end and you have back end, right? Probably you have heard about that. The front end is the user interface, basically what the user can see and interact with. And then we have the backend part, all of the business logic database. You know, the backend is really, really valuable. And the front end is also valuable, but if something breaks, it's okay. But if something breaks in the backend, whoa, that's crucial, right? So from a company side of view, if you were a beginner, do you think it would be a great choice to actually put you as a junior into the position of a backend developer? Well. Probably not, right? Because chances are that you will break the system. That's the reason why there are so many jobs out there for junior level developers, which are related to the front end instead. So my second advice is that if you find yourself in the position where you learn c -sharp or where you learn Kotlin, or for example, think about that again, right? And try to understand that people are actively searching for junior developers, mostly related to front end positions. Now front end, what does that mean? Well, that means that we have frameworks out there such as Angular, React and Vue.js. Chances are you already heard about them, right? Same applies for, for the app development ones, right? That would be Swift and Kotlin then. Um, those are jobs. You know, there are not so many app developer jobs. There are more web developer jobs, but still there are some. So if you want to become an app developer, that's fine too. But I suggest you pick the web development one. You should really think about if it makes sense to stick with the back end coding part or if you should make a switch to front end development. Now that means that if you scan the local job market for yourself, just search for junior developer in web development, for example, chances are that you will find Angular, React and Vue.js, maybe in a different order and you pick one of them. And here's my advice. If you like JavaScript and Python, stick with React. And if you like C sharp, then you should go with Angular because Angular uses TypeScript and TypeScript is very closely related and very similar to C sharp. However, learn Angular or React or Vue.js, one of those front end frameworks. And then you're in the position already where someone would say as a company, oh yeah, you are valuable to me. I can put you into a position into our company where you can actually deliver value, but not break the system, right? So learn the framework start with the basics, obviously, and then dig deeper, forget about everything else. As I said earlier, you're just in that framework and then you dig really deep. And let's, let's be honest here, right? Digging deep into a front end framework is not that hard. It's so much harder in comparison to dig deeper into the back end parts 
.NET, Java, Spring Boot and all of that ASP.NET Core is so much harder in comparison to front-end frameworks. So go in-depth in front-end frameworks and then actually start applying for jobs while building great applications with your in-depth knowledge and automatically if you build in-depth applications or uh, comprehensive applications as I call them, just basic applications that, that offer more features than a pizza delivery application or what, maybe you have a nice uh, database connection, all of that, you will automatically, as I said, if you need a database, you need a backend, you will start transitioning to backend again. But this time you can bring value to the table as a front-end developer and while applying for jobs, you will additionally build some backend developer skills. This is what I teach basically all the time. This is what works for tons of our students. And if you also want to have one-on-one -on -one guidance and assistance and a mentor that leads you to success, make sure to check out our developer mentorship. You can find the link in the description below. So if you liked that video, give it a thumb up, subscribe to our channel and share your experiences in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you back next time.